Hello, in this video, we're going to do a math problem with circles. We're going to show that a certain equation represents a circle and then find the center and radius uh, of that circle. We'll also talk about what happens in situations where it's not a circle and what you can expect in that case um, algebraically when you're actually working through the problem. So the question is to show that the equation, and here's the equation, it's x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 6y equals negative 6. So we're going to show that this equation represents a circle and find the center, I don't know if you heard that, and radius. That was hail, it just hailed, it just randomly thundered and hailed for like a few seconds there. Pretty crazy weather here. But the mathematics must continue. So we're gonna show this equation represents a circle and we're gonna find the center and radius. Okay, let's go ahead and go through it, solution. So the goal, so just so you know, the goal, the goal here is to get here. The goal is to get to this equation, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. There's more thunder. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty scary out there. So we have, to, we have to make this look like this. So I'm gonna take this and write it again just so we have it down here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We're basically going to complete the square two times, uh, once in x and once in y, so that we have these two uh, squared quantities. So let's just do it. So we have x squared minus 2x. Uh, this is going to be plus 1. So how'd you do that? So you take this number, the coefficient of x, divide it by 2 and square it. So it'll be negative 1 squared, which is 1. Boom. Let's do it again. You write this down. Take the coefficient of y and square it. So it'll be 6 over 2 quantity squared. Just like that. Boom. Okay, so you could do it in your head basically after a while, right? So you just take the coefficient of x, divide it by 2 and square it. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. Boom, there it is. 6 over 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Boom, there it is. Here's a negative 6. Now, we can't just put numbers here. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other, right? So we're going to add a 1 here, and we're also going to add a 9. This and this will magically factor how. This will become x minus 1 quantity squared. You just take this number and divide it by 2. Plus, take this number divided by 2. Okay, just divide it by 2. This is going to be 4. Okay. You may say, how did you do that? It's it's a formula, right? It's a formula. So you just, the whole the whole point of me doing this is so that I don't actually have to factor this. But this actually does factor. It'll be x minus 1 times x minus 1. Like, you can actually factor it. But no one actually does that because um, this is the shortcut way of doing it. So what you do is you basically look at this, divide it by 2 and square it. Boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. What you do, once I do to the other. Once you get here, this is called a perfect square trinomial because it's a perfect square. It means you can write it like this. So to do, to do that, the trick is you just divide this number by 2 and keep the sign. So 2 over 2 is 1, you keep the sign. 6 over 2 is 3, you keep the sign. And then here, here you are, and you're good, because that's the equation of a circle, right? And then now the center here, the center is hk, okay? So it's going to be, so the center, you switch the signs, okay? So it'll be 1, negative 3, okay? Because the center, oops, center, is normally hk, like that, right? And the formula is this one, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's the formula. So your center is going to be hk, so it's going to be 1, negative 3, you see there. There's your 1, then I flip the sign here, because it's a plus and it's a minus in the formula. So you just basically switch the sign. And then r is the square root of this number, so r is 2, because it's the square root of 4. Square root, of, square root of 4, right? Because here it's r squared. See, r squared equals 4. Take the square root. 
big R equals plus or minus two, but R can't be minus because it's the radius, so it's two. All right, that's the idea. So you just take the square root of this number to get R. So we have our center, which is the ordered pair one comma negative three. We have our radius, which is two, and we have our equation, which is a circle. We know it's a circle because it fits this form, okay? So if we would have gotten, say, zero here, then it would have been a point on the plane. That's not a circle uh, because we have to have a positive radius. Um, if it would have been a negative number, there would have been no solution to this equation. It would have been just no graph, the empty graph. There'd be no graph, okay? So so those are other situations, right? You get a negative number, you know, there, there's no graph. Um, and then the other situation is if there's a zero here, then it's just the graph of a point. But when you have a positive number, uh, then you have a circle. So those are the three, the three cases that you have in this particular situation, uh, this, this, this type of problem that you typically see. Now, you might have other questions that aren't even close to being circles, but um, for something like this, something basic, usually those are the three cases that you see. Right? Like they're not going to give you an ellipse uh, in something like this. Hopefully uh, it's been helpful and you've learned a little bit of mathematics. Until next time, take care.